Abandoned and decaying deep in the woods of central Maryland lies an example of failed institutional policy, a decrepit asylum which shudders a harsh reminder of decades of abuse and mistreatment that cost hundreds of individuals their lives. Forest Haven Asylum opened in 1925 and served as a progressive institution, a farm colony that housed thousands of mentally disabled patients with the aim of teaching them intellectual skills to help employ individuals back into the real world. Staff members were underqualified, and many workers began taking their frustrations out on the patients, who were subject to sexual, mental, and physical abuse. Some of the doctors employed at Forest Haven were even declared medically incompetent by the state of Maryland, and they continued their harsh practices on patients even after being court-ordered to leave the facility. Hundreds of patients would fall victim to Forest Haven, and bodies of the deceased were often buried in mass unmarked graves on the property, some of which were never to be found. Today, erosion has slowly brought up some of these human remains to the surface, as Forest Haven has continued to sit abandoned since 1991. Let's explore. Welcome back to Luke Explorers. Today, I'm with my girlfriend, Victoria, and we are returning to Forest Haven Asylum. Forest Haven was one of the first videos that I've done way back in the day, like almost a year ago. You guys loved it. We're gonna do it again. We just came in through the access trail through the woods, and so far, we haven't had any security problems or anything. We put the drone up, there was no issues, so we're gonna go take a look around and see what we can find. Hopefully, we can cross through to the main building, and I really wanna get a good look at the uh, dentist chairs and the old uh, hospital of this uh, giant asylum so we're gonna get going and enjoy this uh, exploration so let's do it all right here's the first hospital bed and there's tons more where this came from but these are literally hundreds of years old and they've just been sitting here rusting away for hundreds of years. The section that we're in right now is the administrative side of Forest Haven. So basically we're gonna find a lot of desks, a lot of offices, and a lot of old equipment that was just stored back here. So this isn't really where the fun is. The fun is in the main buildings. There's even a church here. So we're gonna to attempt to hit as much as we can in just a couple hours. So we're gonna go throughout the rest of the administration section. As promised, here are some of the administration desks. As far as I'm concerned, this is where everyone would come in to check in. And then eventually they'd end up making their way out that way towards the main buildings. Here's the creepy crate that everyone talks about. What is it? The child's crate. You know, like a baby rocker. Now, I'm sure that there probably wasn't babies in this, but. Look at the way the chair is positioned. It's almost like someone's sitting next to the bed, visiting them. Forest Haven is notorious for overcrowding. So basically, when the state inspectors would come, they actually reported that it was the worst conditions they'd ever seen for an asylum at the time. There was neglect, abuse. I'm pretty sure the people that worked here, they, they even sexually abused the patients here. Yeah. It was that bad. So there's a mass grave here. I've never actually found the grave. I don't really know if I want to find it, but this place is notorious for evil. If you want to feel evil or see evil or experience it, Forest Haven is the place to go, both post and during um when it was operational because people died here afterwards, which is really creepy. So I'm not really sure if these were dental chairs or not. In fact, I don't even know if they're supposed to be in here because there's no strobe lights or anything that would indicate that this was used for any medical purposes.
but none of these old switches work. They're still pressurized though, just up and down. This billboard says, see yourself as a picture of health. Get a mammogram. It's pretty ironic for a place that was as evil as this. Here's Look lying right to your face. Look at these old hospital beds. They're not in great shape, but you can totally tell that they've been used more than once or twice. This is pretty creepy. This bed's just right out in the middle of the hallway. It's kind of freaky to think about because you never know what kind of people sat in each one of these ones individually. So when this asylum was operational way back when, the people that stayed here, they ranged from just honestly having ADHD all the way to having serious mental disabilities. So you have no idea what kind of person could have been in here. They were locked in cages, basically. And some of them could have had ADHD, just like you or me, potentially. So it's really kind of crazy to think about the neglect, even for people that were considered normal, you know, especially in today's day and age. That's pretty creepy to think about. Anything over here? Well, guys, here's a chair. There we go, number 17 in a row. I'm pretty sure we've probably passed like 15 chairs now, but this is the one that counts. So this is the 17th Luca Explorers chair. This old circuit board is pretty intricate. It's pretty cool to see it it's still in good shape. It's kind of cool to note that these pillows are not normal pillows. These were the pillows that would go on those old hospital beds. So it kind of goes to show how many of these carts there are. There's like two or three rooms that are just full of these pillows, meaning that there are hundreds and hundreds of carts here. And some of them are not in one piece anymore, but we've already passed by a couple that are. So that just goes to show how many patients were here because there was way too much overcrowding. And I bet that some of these rooms honestly may have just been used as like a holding cell almost, you know, for the patients. So they might not even have had a bed, you know, in general. They might have just been put on the floor because of all the neglect that was here. And these pads, what are these for? They're everywhere. These could have just been, I mean, who knows, honestly. And it's like, that's kind of the horror of this place is like so much bad stuff happened that you don't know what's supposed to be here and what's not supposed to be here. So this place is literally the definition of pure evil. I think though this was a communal shower because if you look down, there's like a little bit of a drain. And if you look up, there's like some weird pipe thing. And then of course there's a bathroom. Well, we just love bathtubs, don't we? It's funny, everything is smashed here, but this old ceramic bathtub is in good shape. Look how creepy this thing is. Look at this old arcade game. I wonder what it was. Could have been Pac-Man or something. Well, if we hadn't already completed the chair challenge, I think we just completed it for about the next 30 abandoned places. All in the same room. Come look here, it looks like the listening part to the stethoscopes. Definitely is, it's got the rubbery end. Only a version that's like 200 years old, probably. Look how old these cabinets are. The material's literally collapsing in on itself. One of the steepest ladders I've climbed in a while.
These old trailers are literally parked right into the building. Makes you wonder if there were vendors or something way back when, but I don't know if asylums had vendors. So I'm not really sure what these would have been used for. The foliage in this place is absolutely stunning. I've been here during every part of the year, and I have to say that springtime is by far my favorite. I mean, just look at it. Just look at all the flowers starting to bloom. The leaves slowly starting to come back on the trees. Best time of the year to explore. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is the one part we have to be really careful of. The security does go up and down this road. So we're just gonna double check. They are not there. Alright, cool. the architecture on the outside of this building. Let's explore it. It's locked. Wow. So these were the old dental chairs. You can tell right here, literally has the controls. You can see the switch for the water. How cool is that? Should be another set yep, of dental equipment in this room as well. And I don't think it's the same machine, but I think it has the same purpose. As you can see these were the dishes that you'd spit into. And I'm assuming it probably had another one of those control panels up here. This is an old intercom. You can listen and talk, but it only says oak. So this looks like the administration area for the dentists. Looks like that's where the intercom connected and they were able to talk to all the different rooms. That's so weird. I wonder why they'd have to talk to them individually. Look at that little thing. You can see the wires coming out of the wall. Yeah. And this looks like the most intact dental system. I mean, again, this is definitely dentist equipment, right? I mean, they literally have the thing for you to spit in. And this one actually has the headrest, unlike the other one. X-ray machine. Everywhere I go now has X-ray machines. And the trailers are out there, even though it's kind of hard to see right now. It's a really bright day. It almost looks like where you put like a pee sample, you know, if you're in the doctor. I don't know what that was for. It's like open on the other side. Yeah, you'd think maybe also like a medicine cabinet? gonna slam. Look at and this is where they would stand behind the x-ray machines. And I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure that um this wouldn't do anything. It's 
yeah, to keep the x-rays from the, you know, from getting into you, whatever scientific term they call. I don't think that that would have done anything. But look at that old x-ray machine and it still has the old slider on the top. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that where they put them, uh, like the yes. pictures up against or whatever? Stand against it. Probably right in the center. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that slides? I bet this goes in and out, huh? It does, I think it's just resting shut. It's open screen. You can kind of get a better view of the trailers now. that is. It almost looks like a coat rack, but that doesn't really make a lot of sense. I love how most of the screens are still in one way, shape, or another, semi-intact. They're huge. We're gonna skip the third floor on the main building here just because A, there's nothing up there, and B, it's not safe. So we're gonna kinda head back towards the trailers and then I think we're gonna check the church out. Um, there's a lot of other buildings here that we're not gonna get to, but I've been to Forest Haven so many times that I've kinda tried to figure out what's worth filming and what's not worth filming. And a lot of the smaller buildings are just empty and honestly, they don't really have anything left. So we're gonna go out back and check out the trailers. If you look up there, there's some really small stalagmites, or stalactites, I can't remember which ones are the ones that hang upside down. But those grow, I think, like a centimeter or an inch, like every year. So that just goes to show how long this place has been abandoned. I think that these trailers were put here post-operation. I don't think that they had any correlation to Forest Haven, but it really does make you wonder what they used them for because there's dozens of them here. You think the staff lifted them? Well, we might as well take a look in one of them. I think that's a pretty good guess. Either the cooks or like the on-call nurses, because they're not going to leave a bunch of psychiatric patients unsupervised. Yeah, to live in trailers? I don't yeah. think so. Well, I was also saying, like, again, I don't, I know they've done construction work here, 
Um, I don't know if when they started cleaning this place up years ago, if this is what, what was yeah, what was left. But I mean, there's really no way to tell. This place has so much history; it's kind of hard to know what's left from right. Both ways before you cross the street. Nothing down there. But we do want to be careful because that's where the active developmental center is. I think this was the game that you punch the thing and it gives you a score. Oh wow, look at this. They literally have a whole arcade section, which would make sense because in the first administrative building we went in, they had all the arcade games in there too. So they just might not be in the right place. So to measure your BMI, I think. Body mass index? Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm so smart. What's your desirable weight, woman? And then I think, yeah, that one's the men. It's like a giant scale, I think, on the bottom. left in any of these rooms. That is literally hanging by a thread. I don't really think I've heard anyone talk about this in any other video that I've seen. But if you watch the documentary, and I'll do my best to put a picture or two up, this right here, I'm gonna get really close to it. That is an original patient uniform. Every single patient is wearing one of those. And I've never seen these here before. I've never seen anyone account it, but that is creepy. Like, wow, that is a find. Definitely not taking that home as my souvenir. What is going on with this door? It's almost like the patients were locked in here. Cause this is like, three doors you would have to go through to get in here. And there's also no easy way out of this place either. Right. And there's no, there's no time locks, it's all like keys. So like you had to be authorized to get out, in and out. And these locks, honestly, I want to go back to it. I don't really, do you think this was like the big thick keys or is that just a double lock? I think that's a double lock. Look at this roll of film. I wonder if they use that for their x-rays. I have no idea what could honestly be on there. Honestly, there's probably some pretty vile stuff that's just like left, you know, in time. Never to be figured out again. It says, fitness. The human body needs to be fit in order to be healthy. Each part of the body must be working, blah, 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 physical labor. And then it's talking about how exercise fights disease. Yeah, okay. So originally, when we came in here, I said that these machines were arcade games. And to be honest, in the administration section, there were definitely arcade games. These are not arcade games. These are 100% weight loss. I mean, it's almost like they like... They, they were testing the patients to see if they were good enough to be here by the patient files. And now, like, they're saying the ideal weight. I mean... What is this? Chin... Chinning bar. Chinning bar? Let's look that up when we get out. If anyone knows what a chinning bar is, also put that in the comments, because we don't know what a chinning bar is.
judging by the bathrooms and the amount of rooms that are just in this one building, we think this is probably just the patient dorm. Again, it's kind of hard to tell what's what because every building except the main ones pretty much have, like the ones in the middle, have all this dental and medical equipment. But again, judging by the bathrooms, the open space, and the locked doors, we're best to assume this probably honestly was a patient ward because, I mean, they had to keep the thousands of inmates that they had here. And I say inmates because they were literally prisoners. Like, families would ship their kids off here, and I think even adults too, without even knowing what was going to happen. And then once they got to the institution, the abuse, the neglect, everything started. This place was just horrible from top to bottom. This looks like it belonged to an old home. Yeah. Remember in the beginning we found the old earpiece for the, um, what was that called? The stethoscope. And now we found it part to an old phone. Not only that, but we also found the, um, the patient robes, which I've never seen before. Never even seen anyone talk about those before. I think you would only know them if you watched the documentary. Have you watched the documentary? Yeah. Guys, this is not a promotional video for the documentary, but it is good if anyone wants to check it out. Yeah, they totally locked them from the inside out. Oh no, I was gonna say that, but then there's a hole for a handle. Oh. So it probably just forgot to decide. Oh, you think that's what all the doors were? Well, but they still have this lock that's I found the on same. the outside. Get in and there. Oh wow. Probably a whole bunch of gross stuff in there we don't want to touch. You did not see it though. Wow. Even this one right here, too. Hey, look, the basketball courts. Two benches are very oddly placed. So these are human bones. I don't know if this is where the mass grave is, but this is the most chilling thing I've ever seen in a van place. These are actual human bones. Fingers crossed for the chapel. It's very, well, it looks like it could be the church.